Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to tell you another of my own stories. So today I'm going to tell you about the forbidden house. That, uh, uh, so it's a house that is forbidden. So I hope you like this own story that is very very scary. So let's get started. Let's go. The Forbidden House. Once upon a time, there was a house. Near that house was a big giant forest that was forbidden. Nobody should go inside it. Inside that forest was an old forbidden house. It was all broken apart and it was dark black. Lightning strolled around the house and crows said, Ka! Ka! around the house. So, away, far away from the forest was the house. The house belonged to a dad, mom, and two boys. The first boy's name was Jack. And the second boy's name was Oliver. Jack was the oldest. Oliver was young. Jack was about 10 years old. And Oliver was 6 years old. They both lived happily in their house. One day, it was a mysterious day. But it looked normal. The sun was shining bright. That morning, Jack and Oliver went to eat some breakfast. They went to the dining table to eat some breakfast. They ate chicken soup. When Jack and Oliver were done, they said, Can we go play out in our backyard? Mom and Dad said, Okay, but remember, don't go to the Forbidden Forest. Jack and Oliver really wanted to go to the Forbidden Forest and see what was inside. But they didn't want to tell their parents because their parents would get mad. So Jack and Oliver said, okay. They went to the backyard and played. They had a basketball hoop. Jack and Oliver played basketball. Jack won the first game of basketball. After they were done with the first game, they were in the middle of the game. But Jack and Oliver discussed that they're going to the Forbidden Forest. Even though their parents didn't want to let them go into the Forbidden Forest, they are going to be brave and go inside the forest. So they tiptoed to the forest. Oliver said, um, should we go to the Forbidden Forest? I guess that the house is creepy. It'll be really scary. And Mom and Dad didn't tell us to go inside. And Jack is saying, Oh, don't be such a scaredy cat. Come on, let's go inside. It'll be cool. Because the sun is shining bright, so it'll be bright inside. And Oliver said, Okay. Quite nervously. So they walked into the Forbidden Forest, but they saw a fence. It was white color and it had spider webs. Many, many spider webs. And the fence was locked. It was a big giant fence, so they couldn't go over it either. And it had pointy sharp things on the top like a knife so no one would enter. Jack and Oliver were sad that they had no way to go to the Forbidden Forest. So Jack got an idea. Jack said to Oliver, I got an awesome and terrific idea. I'm going to tell Dad, can we borrow his big giant stairs that is called a ladder? And Oliver said, uh, I hope your plan works because I really want to go to the Forbidden Forest because the sun's shining, so we have to go. If it's nighttime, I'm going to be seriously scared and I'm getting out of there and searching home. Jack said, 
Okay, okay. Believe in sunset time. I'll just go get the ladder. Jack ran back to the house, and Oliver just sat in the forest. Then something strange happened to Oliver. He found the birds running away from the house, from the forest. One flied from the sky and dropped in his sky. Oliver screamed in horror. He just shoved the bird away with a stick he found nearby him. Then he ran away and told mom and dad and Jack. Then mom and dad were they couldn't believe what Jack and Oliver did. Jack's plan and dad said, "You two are grounded for this week." With no meals, and Oliver said, Ugh, "Now what you have done, Jack? Look, now it's a whole mess. Now we're grounded." And Jack said, "Sorry, I thought that the Forbidden Forest was fun. Then I realized that Mom and Dad would shout at us and." Ground us. Then Oliver said, "It's okay. You can apologize to me. Then I'll be okay." Then Jack apologized, but still, they both wanted to go to the Forbidden Forest so badly. They wanted to do it, but their parents won't let them. So Jack asked Dad and Mom to go play in the backyard with Oliver, but Mom and Dad said. No, every time Jack and Oliver said that. Then, the next week came a new week. Jack and Oliver ran outside and then came back into the house because they didn't tell their mom and dad. They pleaded their mom and dad. They begged. They begged. They begged. And then, when they said to play in the backyard, mom and dad finally said, "Yes." Jack and Oliver ran to the backyard to play their second round of basketball. They jump up and hit a score. Now who win the next time? They were thinking. Jack again won. Jack got twenty points, and Oliver got only ten. <laughs> And then again, they were thinking about the forbidden forest, and they again went to the fence and asked. And Jack asked for the ladder, and Dad brought a ladder for him, and then he took the ladder. So Oliver and Jack climbed the ladder and went inside the forbidden forest. Now this. Is the mysterious part. Now this is how the story begins. They walk in the forbidden forest. They see birds chirping, crows attacking the birds. Everything was really creepy. Oliver and Jack went walking. Then they saw a big. Giant house. It was nighttime. They were so tired. They walked so slowly and steady. When they finally found that creepy house, Jack said, "Yay! Finally, we can rest a little bit. But how can we find our way home? Mom and Dad will be furious and sad if we didn't come." He'll think that we vanished in the forbidden forest. And Oliver said, "Well, I don't want to live in that house. It looks creepy. Remember that Dad told us about the legend of the forbidden house. That inside there is a witch and a cat. I'm super scared." And Jack said. Ugh! Don't be such a scaredy cat again. Come on, let's go inside. It'll be fine. Let's be brave, Oliver. Don't forget that. Remember, you're the one who said everyone should be brave. 
And Oliver said, okay, okay, I'll be brave. Let's go inside. So they walked inside the house. Oliver opened the door because Jack dared Oliver to open the door because he was such a scaredy cat. <laughs> so he, Oliver opened the door. When he opened the door, some dust flew and the door went creak very slow. Some spider webs were connected to the door and to the wall and they broke the spider webs and went inside. Inside everything was broken and there was a bench that was broken. There was a chair that was broken and there was a music piano that was broken. And Oliver said, what happened here? Maybe someone attacked this house or a witch came here. And Jack said, again, you're being a scary cat. <laughs> and Oliver said, oh yeah, 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 yeah. They went inside. Then there was a fridge, an old fridge. Jack ran to the fridge because he was hungry. Then opened the fridge, then bah! A cat appeared, crawling out of the fridge. Jack and Oliver freaked out and trembled and fell to the floor in the back. Jack got a bruise right on his hand. And Oliver tried to heal it. And Jack said, okay, okay, I will bear it. Then they walked. Jack was still painful with that pain and that bruise on his hand. They walked. Then suddenly, there was a machine. So there was one button. Jack and Oliver saw it. Both of them saw it. It was a button and it said, Press me, please, right on the button. So Jack said, come on, let's press that button. Oliver saying, okay, but I hope that cat doesn't come back or I wish we saw the legend of daddy's legend. And then Jack said, come on, you're being a scaredy cat. Again, I'm telling you, always I'm telling you. And then Oliver said, okay, now I won't be a scaredy cat ever, okay? If I do it one more time, I will punish myself to help you. So Jack's saying, okay, let's press the button. Jack and Oliver press the button together. Then suddenly a door appeared near a, the wall of the machine and then door bell came on the top of the doorknob then the door bell said ring me then open the door so jack and oliver both together pressed the door bell and then opened the door screech they went inside super creepy. More spiderwebs came. More than 2,000 spiderwebs was there. It was big and giant. Jack and Oliver needed to push the spiderwebs off of their faces. Jack almost put a spiderweb in his mouth and almost ate it. <laughs> but he pushed it away. Then there was another button they needed to press on the wall. And it said, press me. You are lucky whoever presses this button. Then Jack and Oliver were brave and pressed the button. Then when they opened it, a witch grabbed them. And the witch put them in a small room. Then a trapdoor fell and they, Jack and Oliver fell to the ground. Then, you know what happened? Something happy happened. Their friends were there. And the witch, still wearing its costume, remote her costume. And Jack and Oliver couldn't believe it. 
It was their teacher, Mrs. Clegg. They were all cheering. Then their mom and dad came. Then Oliver said, "You know all about the Forbidden Forest all this time, and you didn't even let us go to the Forbidden Forest." Mom said, "Oh, we wanted a little surprise for you," and Dad said, "Yep, Mommy's right." Then the witch brought some witch and pumpkin cookies. They all ate, and Jack said, "Are you still scared of scaredy stuff?" And Oliver said, "Well, not anymore. I guess scaredy stuffs." Our tricks and some makeup from people. So they both ate their cookies and munch, munch, munch. Mom and Dad took Jack and Oliver back to their house. While they were walking back to the house, Mom said, "Can I tell you about that house?" And Dad said, "Yeah, come on, Mom, tell it all." Mom said. It was my idea. I wanted to surprise you with a little boo, but scary stuff because it's almost Halloween. So we just wanted a little scare for you. So you know what I plan? I found a house right there. It belonged to no one. So. I thought, hmm, maybe I can surprise those kids. So I surprised you, boo! And Jack and Oliver moved back and said, "Oh, that's so funny, Mom. We were totally freaked out." And Oliver said, "Ugh, really? I'm not really freaked out. I know this was all not real." And Jack just shoved him in the elbow. And Oliver said, "Ah,、oh, what did you do that for?" And Jack said, "Well, you've been scared this whole time, Oliver. You are a scared cat." And Oliver said, "No, I'm not." And Jack and Oliver keep on fighting about who's scared cat. Scared cat means who's the scaredy one. And Dad said, "That is enough, kids. Let's go home." So they finally made it home, and they were back home. Normal. Everything was normal. The end. So I hope you like my own scary story. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye, everyone. See you in the next video.